Hey guys, it's Neon Nezzy, back again with another Destiny 6 video. And by now, it's been over 12 hours, almost 15 hours since the um, guild application has closed. And we do have six new members. Um, congrats to them and to everybody that applied. Um, many, many thanks for applying and thinking so highly of the guild, which is Destiny Void. Um, I really appreciate all the, all the applications that we got. However, there were only six slots, and believe it or not, we actually got over 40. Now, around 10 or 11 people I kicked immediately, simply because you were below level 30. And then um, I was very much um, tempted to let people of the highest levels into the guild, because the higher your level, it means the more you farmed, or so the more you farmed, the more you've progressed, right? But then I did not do this. Um, I actually went into um, some other criteria, which we'll talk about in a bit. The reason I didn't talk, uh, the reason why I didn't um, let people in simply by their level, is because I think that you can get to a higher level even without accomplishing very important parts of the game. Okay, so I'm just going to list out the criteria that I use because I'm sure that a lot of people out there, they're a little disappointed or even a little salty. And I don't want to have, I don't want to leave any stones unturned. I don't want to leave you guys feeling down. I just want to justify um, or clarify what the requirements were. So first of all, I looked if you can do top 60. Not arena top 60, that would be insane. Top 60 as in Tower of Promises floor 60. Because if you can do this, you are essentially farming gold, which is what you use to uh, enhance your orbs and your crests, uh, dismantle, everything in the game requires gold. So the fact that you are to be able to do top 60 is a clear indication that you guys can farm gold and progress. Second, I looked at units. Who has a wide variety of units? Now you guys might be thinking, oh man, well, that's great because I'm free to play and a lot of other people have natural five stars. That's not what, what, what I just looked at. Yes, there were some people that had more natural five stars than everybody else, but I visited every single person and I looked at your um, roster or your lineups and I basically thought to myself, okay, this person does not have a paper Helga. So no status activation buff. Has this person put in the time to use uh, to farm a Tian Jin, which is super easy to do, by the way, or any other three star or four star activation rate buffer? Um, this person does not have a five star bleeder like Kerr or Natalia. Well, have they built in a Scar or someone else to apply bleed in Conquest? You guys get what I mean. I did not look at who has paid the most. I looked at who has thought about the game in a more in more general terms in order to encompass everything that the game has to offer and have you been preparing yourself to overcome all the challenges that the game throws at you. Second, I looked at your orbs. Now I I I'm I trust that everybody that has four star um, orbs on multiple units are people that can farm hell mode because the chances of getting a four star orb are low enough and the chances of getting a four star percentage orb is even so 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 much lower also just quick side note i will be making a very quick uh, a, a new video sometime this weekend on to go percentage orb or to go flat stat so look forward to that but basically, if you had all four-star orbs or majority four-star orbs, it means that you're able to farm Hell Mode, which is uh, where you can farm the highest tier of orbs, which are four stars. So that makes sense. And then, as I was writing down names of people, um, like, you know, I was putting, like, ticks or crosses aside of people names on what they had or didn't have. And then I actually had to go back and look at all 30 or 31 applications again because I forgot to look at your crests. Now, why is crest so important? Well, three star or four star crests are only available um, from the level seven or eight giants. The fact that you have so many three or four, I'm trusting that a lot of people have speed teams for um, giants B8 or uh, both giants. So that means that you are already able to auto them or have 
a very uh, speed, a very fast speed comp for them. So let's just go over everything, okay? I looked at, can you farm gold? Do you understand team synergy and all the challenges that the game has to offer? I then looked at, can you farm Helmut for orbs? And can you farm giants for crests? I could not look at your arena ranking because arena had just reset. So I think I basically covered everything that um, that would prove that you are worthy of joining Dead Destiny 6. If you didn't get in, it means that you were lacking in one of these areas, or it meant that uh, someone, I'm not trying to sound rude or anything, but someone had progressed a bit further than you had in the game. But anyway, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for applying. And uh, I don't want to get people's hopes up too high, but we might have another recruitment session because I feel that there are some people, if they work hard, they can definitely fit into the guild. But if they continue at their current pace, then I'm going to have no choice but to kick them. I think we're only going to have one more weeding out session and then Destiny Void should be an OP top tier guild. So today, I just want to talk about the guild re recruitment. I also want to get into um, Jun. Now, of course, I've already done a spotlight on him. Go ahead and check that out. However, today I want to try Jun out in Arena with Concentration Orbs. Now, um, I have already built up all these Concentration Orbs. It's just going to cost me... It's, it's just going to take, I think, like 20 seconds to do all this. It's going to cost me quite a bit. Um, I have not tried this out yet. So, initially... If you guys rewind the video, you guys will see that we had about 19% crit rate and 930 or 940 defense. Now, those are the two stats I really, really, really care about. So, it's this one over here. Um, this one, no. This one has 4% defense. Okay. Um, this one is the plus 15. And is this the one that I had? Oh, I think it was this one with the 2%. Yep, okay, fine. So right now, we have a John, and he actually went down only to 732. I was actually watching YDCB's video earlier, and he has a John too, but his defense was like plus 350 with 45, 44% crit rate. So I guess what I can do... We're going all crit, right? So let me just change his title really quick. I'm sorry, guys. I said that this would take like um, said this this would take like about like a few seconds, but I think it actually took like a minute or two. Okay, so 600 defense. Wow, that title change really really affected his stats. But now he has a very high crit rate. Um, so let's see if he can truly shine in arena. Let's go. Also, um, let me just show you guys my team really, really quick. It's the same team that I was running. However, if you guys look over here, um, arena team, our team resistance over here is 43%. I have um, achieved this by having Francisca, Jun, and Adonis on resistance crest. So let's talk crest really quick for like a minute or two. Why Resistance Crest? Yes, Grit is awesome for the 10 second cooldown, but honestly speaking, my main trouble in Arena right now is when I have my Adonis Shield up or my Francisca buffs up and then they strip me. And it's the worst thing when I have just applied it. Like my Adonis Shield is fresh out. It's only taken like a second or two. I still have like six or seven more seconds left and then they strip me. Or... I'm about to activate my Adonis uh, shield. It goes through, but then before the shield can come through, they stun me. Resistance should help me keep my buffs on me and should help me from getting stunned. So let's see if resistance truly works. I couldn't get anything higher than this. 43 was the highest resistance that I could get, but that's um, pretty good, I think, because um, with, with resistance uh, crest, you can only get like... 10%. So 13% were just from orbs and stuff. So let's see if this works. Um, also, really quick, uh, I'm level, I'm ranked 12 right now, and I have Chibi Cactus and Lulu, and Lulu Chibi above and below me, 
we are all from Destiny Void, and it's really funny. It's been like this for hours. I am not kidding. The three of us have just been climbing arena together, like a like a like a three man squad. It's been it's been pretty fun. We're not even like competing against. Oh my God. Okay, Lulu Chibi. Okay, we're we're not even competing against anybody else. We're just competing. We're just competing amongst ourselves. So Lulu Chibi actually has um, Shaolin and Adonis. Um, with the Benito, yeah, see, I have it memorized by now because I faced him off so many times. His Shaolin actually stripped me several times. This is my first time going with um, with Resistance Crest, so let's see if I can come overcome this. Okay, so he buffs his shield up. I have my shield up. Has his Shaolin used her strip? I don't think so. Look at those crits. Look at those crits. All right. I'm not regretting crit, John. My my Benito is going to suffer a little bit. My Benito is definitely going to suffer a little bit, but it's fine. I actually buffed up my Benito since last time that you guys saw him. So he used to have 480 attack. Now he has 527 attack, I think. Okay, so also up here, it gets uh, pretty boring because the only people that I face are... There's like about 10 people that I keep facing again and again and again and again. And I, I only get above 6 points when I win, when I face someone at a higher level than me. So um, so when I face people... Um, so when I face people that are lower le le level than me, which is everybody except for 11 people, I don't I don't get anything in when it comes to points. So... I generally get three or four or five points for winning, which makes climbing up here super, super difficult. Yep, see, right here. I only got three points for winning because this guy was at 2600, level 32. Chibi Cactus, all right. Here's the other Destiny Void. Um, I think, yeah. <laughs> I think if I beat him right now, I actually overtake him. But it's been really, really funny that the three of us keep running into each other. We keep taking screenshots and posting it on our on our Discord. So can we just buff Nuke? That didn't really do a lot of damage. My Jun is doing a lot of damage, though. Okay, I'm getting lucky here because his Adonis is not buffing up. Please don't buff. Please don't buff. Please don't buff. Please. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. They're, they're hanging in for dear life. I don't want to use my shield right now, though. I want to use it when I... Never mind, I'm just going to use it. Okay, okay, okay. This team is... Um, I did promise a while back that I was going to use a Benito team, but my Benito team was not... Um, it was not good enough to be... I guess my, my, my orbs on my Shaolin aren't great enough. But if you guys look at Lulu Chibi, he's using the same team that I was using, and he's made it up here. So it does work, but it's just I think my orbs on my certain units are a bit inferior to Lulu Chibi's when it comes to that specific comp. Uh, the comp, if you guys were wondering, was Rock Benito, uh, Scissor Shaolin, Paper Adonis, and... Um, oh my god, we just got stunned right before I could use my Jun's B, and Tyler in the striker position. Okay. Um, this one over here, this one, this one would have gotten really annoying if um, their Soho striker had come out with a defense buff, and then because I have no strips, I would have had the hardest time nuking them down. But this guy over here had like 3,500 above me, so um, we got we got like eight points for winning. Chibi Cactus again, since I I think I just overcame him. Or I just uh, took over in rank, so I think even if I beat him, I'll be getting like three or four. But then the thing is, I've lost to Lulu Chibi and uh, Chibi Cactus several times. Is it in the name? Both Chibis. Hmm. Okay, enough theory crafting. Let me just get this out of the way. Okay, his Adonis has learned from the last time we fought. He his Adonis just buffed up. Um, we're not going to use anything though. Hopefully this, this does stun. Um, we're going to buff up, buff up, 
before his Adonis does anything. Okay, yes. If you guys have Rock Jun and someone else as your nuker, now I have Paper Francisca, and we have both nukes available, I would suggest using Rock Jun's nuke first because Rock Jun actually does damage based on their maximum HP or their current HP. So if you nuke with someone else, their HP gets lower, so the damage that uh, Rock Jun does is essentially a bit lower. Crit Jun, I think crit isn't bad, but you really need to cover this 30% margin. A lot of people have their stuff over at like 45. Now I can get it up to 45, but I think the only way you get it over 45 or 42 even is if you have uh, if you have the the title, which you get from f a collection of 50 with um, what is it with the Jin faction and crit again. Okay. Paper Francisca. Is my Paper Francisca bad? I'll show you guys her orbs again at the end of the video. I feel like she, like right there she hit for like 24,000. Which I think is really, really low for Paper Francisca. I feel like she should be doing like 50k or something. Or maybe she just didn't crit. But then again she only has 15% crit rate. Um, I think that even at 45% crit, your your Jun or whoever your nuker is isn't going to be critting too much, but uh, Jun's second ability does have the multi-hit, so that is actually what I'm looking for. So let's just try to see it over here. Yeah, we only got like one crit there. The team does work, um, but I have lost... I think my win rate right now is like 91 or 92 percent, which I think is uh, pretty pretty terrible, because it's just I don't know. I can get a hundred percent win rate if I ever get Carlota. <laughs> Until then, it's just a sad 91 percent win rate life. So what does this guy have? He has Kerr, Benito, and Helga. So he's looking to strip and stun and uh, nuke with his Kerr. So I'm not sure if I actually want to wait it out and just make sure that Kerr um, just use his strips first. Also, I have been paying attention, but have they been uh, stripping us? Oh my god, well, they've been stunning us, and they just did strip us, so so resistance doesn't really matter. I, uh, does resistance even matter in this game? I have 43% resistance. Granted, it's it, it's not a lot, but initially that team had like 18% resistance and we were getting stripped and stunned all the time. Now it should be a lot less. Hopefully we, we can get a few people that have um, that have things like uh, Shaolins or anyone that can strip or can land debuffs onto us. I want to see if we can resist. So maybe I shouldn't use the Adonis shield too quickly. Okay, so they have... Oh my god, you know this is really bad. I'm not gonna use the shield because I wanna see if we can um, if we can resist. But she has the blind, and Luna also has a silence. She also has a silence, and until this blinding goes down, we cannot use anything otherwise. Holy cow, she silenced. Okay, nope, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. It doesn't oh my lord. Uh, we could have easily, easily, easily won that if I just buff it with my Adonis shield, because they have no strips. Uh, <laughs> this is a Destiny Void uh, preview. Ezreal666 is, 666 is also in the guild. Oh my god, Illuminati confirmed! Wow, his team is really tanky though. I mean, he does have Kerr, but still... Oh my god. Ezreal, what's your... Oh my lord, it's a double stun. The AI is so damn good. Okay. Ezreal, what's your accuracy on your Kerr, man? Alright, can we stun you? Okay, we do stun. Wait, did we stun or did... No, we got stunned. We didn't stun them, they stunned us. It's just, what the... Come on, man. 
Okay, okay, okay. Um, we're gonna try and reduce cooldowns here. Get this buff. Nuke and nuke. I sh oh my god, his shield came in clutch, and he just uh, stripped our buffs like they were nothing. Here's a recovery ban coming in. Well, we resisted the, we resisted the recovery ban, so that's not something terrible. All right, right, now we have to stun, and well, we can't. Okay. Oh, that was so clutch. Oh my god, that was so clutch. Did he just strip last minute there? I think his curve just stripped us last minute, but that was that was so clutch. Because everything was on cooldown. If I didn't win there, um, it 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 probably would have been GG. Okay, so um, today uh, wasn't very informative. I just wanted to clarify how I accepted people into the guild and just show you guys some uh, arena. My goal this week is to be in the top ten, but um, let's see how that works. Um, I should be coming up with uh, more <laughs> educational videos. Uh, maybe the day after tomorrow. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and subscribe. And until next time, guys, Neon out.